Hello, this is Mr. Vincent Clark from the pop electronic duo Erasure. I'm on Extra Crispy, and today I'm going to be making for you beans on toast, a classic English breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, the first thing I'm going to do is open the can of beans, and I pour the beans. Next, I'm going to put the pan on the stove. You don't actually have to heat the beans if you don't want to because they're actually cooked already and um, you can have them cold, but then they'll taste like shit. Obviously, we know when you start out as a band, you've got no money, you've got no nothing, really. I mean, um, you're, kind of, you're kind of living off beer, I guess. As you get older, you kind of have to watch, you have to be careful more about what you eat. So when we're on the road, the band are on the road, if we get stuck, then what I do is I'll get some bread and some cheese or something and then make a cheese toasty with an iron. It's very dangerous because of all the smoke detectors in the room, but it does make a very splendid cheese toasted sandwich. Right, the next thing to do, get the bread. This is sourdough bread. Get a couple of slices, and I'm gonna stick them in the toaster, like that, look at that. See, that one fits, and that one doesn't. That's very important. It's not really. I like, I like a dark brown toast, that's my favourite. You know, it's very important that you get your toast browned to the right colour, I guess, you know. I, uh, back in the day, when I was a kid, growing up as a kid, we had a toaster, not like this, it wasn't a fancy one, but you'd always burn your toast, always. It was like part of the thing. And then you'd get a knife and scrape off the black bits. And this meal actually is, is a bit of a, a kind of hangover meal, or a soaking up the alcohol after you've had a big night meal. This is almost as good as a bacon sandwich. Right, the next stage in the procedure is uh, grating the cheese. Here's a nice lump of sharp cheddar. And here's a grater. Look at just... You don't need much, you know. This is like the icing on the cake. And the reason I like um, sharp cheddar is because it tastes like cheese. I mean, you couldn't put brie on it because uh, the brie wouldn't melt so evenly. You could use grrrr but I can never ask for that in the shop because I don't know how to say it. Okay, so I've grated my cheese. Next thing, toast. Now I like that, that's how I like my toast. It's kind of maybe, you know, too dark for some people, but that's how I like it, it's nice and crunchy. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, butter the toast with my Irish salty, slightly salty butter. So it's a bit softened, which is excellent for toast. You have gotta be really generous with the butter, I think, you know. And if there are some really burnt bits on the toast, like black bits, you can just cover them up with the butter and no one will know. So the next stage is assembling the dish. Um, I'm going to take the larger piece of toast, put that on my nice white plate, and take our baked beans and then pour some onto the toast. Not all of them, you, you know, you can get beaned out. Then we are going to sprinkle some of this nice cheddar onto the beans. Voila. And I'm going to stick this under the broiler for about 15 seconds. I love, I love beans. I mean, I grew up with baked beans. Beans on toast, beans with fish sticks, beans with Argentinian corned beef sliced, beans and egg. And then you can go into any kind of cafe in the UK and it will be beans with chips or beans with fries. Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. Right. My dish is coming out of the oven. We have slightly melted cheese over the beans. I've got my two extra bits of toast, which I'm going to put on either side of the dish. That was the complex bit. What's great about this dish is this, it's really versatile. You can actually mess around with it. You can have like one day you could have like beans, and then the next day you could have like toast. And then, you know, the next day you could have like maybe, I don't know, cheese or something, you know. So there's three different dishes, unique dishes from this one combination. And finally, to finish the dish, I have some fresh curly parsley, and I'm just gonna stick it on the plate like that. So folks, there you have it, beans on toast. Um, it's super nutritional. There's a lot of uh, protein there with the beans. You should try this at home. Very simple, very inexpensive. Uh, next week we'll be doing baked beans with fish sticks.